Okay, we start the recording again. So we are going to, this is the three key study which is important for us. This is the internal examination for the 30 marks, then external semester exam is for the 70 marks is there. So, so total is the 100 marks paper is there. After that, we have to, there is the laboratory courses there in microprocessor and microcontroller, this laboratory course. In that laboratory course, we have the practical oral examination is there. We are going to deal with the practicals with the 8085 and 8051 is there. 8085 and 8051 is there. Eight zero eight five and eight zero five one is there. Okay, in that case, 50, uh, 50 marks practical oral is there. This is the internal control assessment is twenty five, so seventy five total is there. So our subject strength is the one seventy five is there. So total marks of the, our subject is one seventy five. This is the microprocessor microcontroller is there. Then this is the examination scheme is there. Seventy marks of. Uh, we have discussed previously EC is there 70 marks, internal country assessment is 25 marks, internal semester is 30 marks, and PO is a 75. This is the core subject. What we all learn from this subject, which is the microprocessor and microcontroller, is there. So, first, uh, first, what is the objective? Means what we learn from this subject is why we require the subject in your electrical department is there. So, this is the basic of your software, is there. Means if you are learn with the uh, software. This is the basic part of the software. This means how it works. Means this is the processor is work. Everybody use the mobiles are there. How many students know which type of mo mobiles we have to which processor is used in that mobiles? Do you know which processor we have to use in that mobile is there? Anybody tell me which processor? If you are use the Motorola is there. If you uh, sorry, if you use the Nokia is there. If you use the Redmi is there. Which type of processor we have to use? in that mobile. Anybody know that? You only see the number of pixels we have to use there. Tell me which type of which type of requirement of the means which processor we have to use in your Samsung mobile. Anybody know? Hello? Anybody know that? Participants is there Akshana, Arti, Ashwini, Mohini, then Rutuja, Rajeshri, Anybody know that? Which processor we have to use in your mobile? Because we are on, hello. 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 Yeah, yeah, this one is the processor is there. The Snapdragon 71 roll number is given, the Rishikish is given is there. Okay. So everybody. Exynos 9 Octa. Okay, Snapdragon is there. Lots of processors we have to use there. So my question is that if we are discussing the processor is very important. You're the mobile price is depending upon the processor. A lot of price depending on the processor. Processor is good, then mobile speed will be increases there. So we have to state the first part of this. Our uh, subject is processor is there. See, this is the processor is there. So in that processor, different processor we have to use. But here is a very basic processor, which is the 8085 is there. Very basic processor is 8085 is there. Very basic processor is 8085 is there. So this is the 808 processor is there. We are discussing the first is 8085. What is the object of our course is there? We are discussing the first 8085. In that process, in the subject, we are discussing the 8085 architecture and the pin diagram of the 8085, then instruction set of the 8085, then addressing mode of this 8085, then how assembly language we have to use in this 8085 is there, what are the instruction set, what type of instructions are there, number of instructions, we are discussing all the points in the 8085. If you learn the 8085, understand very well, then you can learn very easy to the 8085. Then 
8051 is there, then different processor we have to use, then different languages we have to learn. This is very important. So when you learn 8085, basically, which is the by using this subject, what is the object of the circuit is that we have to understand architecture of the 805. Architecture means what? What type of uh, registers they are used? How ALU is working is there? How to connect the interfacing? What, how to connect the different peripherals to the 805? How it works? How to phase the data from uh, uh, external memory to the 805? So this is the processor is there. So for that purpose, in your computer, we have to use the processor. In your computer, we are not using the controller. In your computer, we have to use the processor. Is there. You know that which type of processor is Pentium 1, Pentium 2, Pentium 5. These are the processors we have to use. Why we ask is the processor? Because processor is like our brain is there. Processor is like our brain is there. Our hands and the your legs are the peripherals of that processor is there. The processor give the instruction to the hand. The processor give the instructions to the mouth to talk is there. So all the instructions given by the processor. So our brain is the processor. So our working is done by using the processor. So same thing in your uh, computer also. In computer, we have only a processor is there and you have to connect the processor. Different peripherals you have to connect to the processor is there. And by using that processor, we have to work on that. So processor is very important part in your hardware part of your mobile also or your computer also so the price of the this mobile and the uh, uh, computer is only most of the depending upon that the processor processor price is the more is there so we are discussing the processor briefly in first topic is there so our object is here you have to understand the type of the processor is there you have to understand the type of the processor is there then next we have to see the what is the next objective of this course is how you have to learn the 8051 same working in 8085 we have to learn the 805 but 8051 is not a processor it is the controller is there 8051 is not a processor it is the controller is there so what is the difference between the processor and control we have to discuss briefly in in this topic is there but simple example of the uh, control is there why we, why they need the control is there if processor is present is there because if you want to display something on your uh, if you have to display the something, suppose you have to display the Swery COA engineering college is there. You have to create a display is there. You can't connect it to the display to the computer is there to display the, uh, to perform the display there. For that purpose, you have to use a simple controller. There. You have to make the program in that controller and this controller display the data on your display box. Is there. So cheap uh, price of the controller will be decreased. So what is the difference? Main difference is there in processor we have to connect the peripherals to the processor but in controller they have their own peripherals their own memories there then own own adc is there own ds is there so by using that we have to simple program we have to do in 8051 and you have to give the uh, output is in cheap manner because it is not possible to connect all the peripherals to the processor small chip is there this contain all the internal memories also it is having internal memory then it is having the Mm. Intel memory also, it is having DACs also. So by using that, you have to simple program your 8051 and you have to give the output result. This is the 8051. Then you have to know the assembly language. So first, what is meant by the language? Assembly language and what is meant by the language? I think you learn about the C programming language, C++ language is there. These are the languages are there. So what is the difference between assembly language and the uh, different language? Assembly language means what? This is the First language is the machine language. If you know that, the, what is meant by the machine language is there. So first is the machine language is there. So what is the object of this course? You have to learn the machine language clearly. Means machine language means zeros and one. If you know that uh, zero and one, it is understand by the uh, our computer is there. And then advanced language is the assembly language. So difference is that assembly language is that you have to. Uh, do the programming which execution of program will be increases in assembly language execution of the program is increased but number of instructions required to write the program is more is there so you can understand how to write the assembly language is there how to write the assembly language in 8051 because in your c programming in advanced languages you are learn if you are third year students you know that the languages are there dot net are there then these languages are high level languages why because they required a less number of instructions we have to execute is there so means in our day to life you can say that if you use the sanskrit language if you write only one line then a lot of uh, a lot of uh, meaning of that one line is there so this is called high level language is there so high level language in, in the computer computer side is there there is a 
C, uh, sorry, Java and VB. These are the high level language and .NETs are there. So these are the high level. It means what? It's less number of instruction is required to generate uh, any output. These are the high level language. But in SM language required a, in SM language required a, a lot of instructions to write any program. So what is our course objective is there? Our course objective is that we know that what is the processor, we understand what is the controller, we know that what is the difference between them, we know that how to write uh, how to write the SM language in that program is there. Then after that interfacing to the edge room. What is meant by the interfacing? Interfacing between us, we have to connect the different peripherals. Peripherals means what? In our computer side, peripherals means it is the keyboard is there peripheral, mouse is the peripheral, then mouse is the peripheral also. These are the peripherals we have to connect to the our uh, PCs there. So how to connect the peripherals there? So it is very, very important is there. How to connect the peripherals to it is your phone, how to write the program to that connect the peripherals to it is your phone, and this is the peripherals. Then, then same is there as same language programs are there. These are the course objective was there. So, and then course outcome is if you learn this, we will know that the addressing mode of the edge of fun, develop the, we have to know the first is the architecture. Then we have to know the addressing modes of the edge zero five one. We we'll discuss what is going to be addressing mode in uh, next. Then what is the input and output parts of this edge zero five one and develop the assembly level. These are the course outputs. These are the course outcomes of this subject is there so another part is why we required in electric field electric you are the electrical person electrical students are there why we require the electric student this microcontrol and microbus what is the importance of this subject in your in your syllabus is there see in your uh at zero uh, in your electrical field we are discussing the next is the scada scada is there they you know that this is language is there so if you learn how it works means the processor or the controller, how it works when you give the input to that and how give the react after that input, you must know that. What is the basic means? If you give the information or you give the, any instructions to that SCADA and how it works, you know that. So you know for that purpose, you have to know the basics of this controller and processor is there. So in your syllabus is there, PLC is there. You know that in your electrical department control system is there, in that there is PLC is there. So PLC is the one type of the uh, one type of the microcontroller microprocessor is there how it works is there siemens plc is there so how it works is there so understand to this plc and all these things you must know the basics of this control and processor you must know that what is the difference between the processor and control then you have to go to the further part for that purpose they uh, take the uh, topic in your I means subject in your syllabus is there when you learn most of the language you must know the this is so in computer field everybody says that if you know the c programming then you can learn all the languages are there same thing in your plc programming or embedded system programming you must know the basics of 8085 and 805 and if you learn this if you understand this how it works then it will give the output is there so it is very very important is there so this is the course objective and course outcomes are there okay hello understand everybody any questions or any doubts? No, sir. Okay. No, sir. Okay. So 37 students are there only. Huh? Okay. Understand why importance of the subject is there for your PLC understanding. You must know the basics of this 8085 and 8051 is there. Okay. Then we will discuss first. Today is our first lecture is there. We are new is there. So first we will discuss the syllabus topic of these subjects. What type of units we have to discuss and in that unit, what we learn. So first part of this, we have only six units are there. First uh, unit is architecture of Intel 8085. So this is the first part of this sub, uh, topic is the Intel 805. So for that, you must know the numbering system and basics of electrons. Everybody know the numbering system numbering system how to convert binary to hex hex to binary then what is the meaning of the binary number is there everybody know that binary number system is there hello everybody know that binary system yes sir okay so everybody know that binary system is there in that case in if you're working with the 805 or 8051 we must know that key every 
instructions are converted into the binaries there every instruction is converted into the binary number is there if you write any instruction suppose if i am writing if i am writing move this is the one instruction is there move a comma b suppose this is the instruction a comma b sorry if this a comma b this is the one instruction is there if writing this instruction in english form writing instruction in english language is there but 8085 8051 don't know this english language so we have to convert this move a comma b into the 805 for that purpose we require the assembler is there we require the assembler is there assembler is convert these instructions into the binary form so binary form means what zero and one everyone knows zero is the bit and one is the zero and one is called the bits are there so everybody know that binary number is there so you must know every instruction is converted into the binary form is there and due to that binary form your 8085 will understand the instruction is there so if we are working with the 805 and every instruction is having the upcode is there see if you writing a program in c programming uh, everybody know that c programming is there if you write the any instruction c programming and if you run the, uh, everybody know the c programming na third year electronics electrical c programming how to write down the c programming in sm language sorry in compiler hello c programming everybody know the c programming is there hello c programming yes sir uh, c programming know that how to write the c programming is there everybody know that how to write the c programming okay so in c programming if you write the uh, in your know, c programming if you write the anything is there and if you compile the program is there if you compile the program and directly you will get the output is there on your screen but in if you are working with the 8085 in 8051 is also same is there is the controller there is a one software is the kl software is there if you write the program in that kl software you will get the output is there but in 8085 we don't get directly output if you write any program for that purpose we have to use the kit for 805 is there you can't get directly output of this program is there so first we have to give the upcode means if you write the program we will discuss in the sim language uh, when we start the 805 sim language is there first you have to write down the program six six seven line program is there then you have to write down the upcode there is one sheet of this 805 is there every instruction is having one upcode is there every instruction have upcode this is the move a comma b suppose this is the instruction is there suppose this is the instruction move a comma b is there this instruction is having their upcode is there so you have to write down the upcode in your which one this is the uh, kit is there you have to write one by one upcode is there and then after uh, writing the upcode or you have to input the upcode to the kit and you have to give the uh, run run or execution is then you get the output is there suppose you have to uh, 8 bit addition is there so first you have to write down the 8 to 9 length program is there after writing the program you have to uh, find out the upcode of that then upcode of that find out the upcode is there after upcode we have to put the upcode in your uh, put the upcode uh, in your uh, kit is there and after this uh, after this you have to uh, you will get the output is there so this is very uh, this is very uh, it is required a task to miss we have required more time to give the output by using 8085 is there so this is the first part of your unit one is architecture of intel 805 in that case we are discussing what is meant by the 8085 is there so why it is called the processor is there what is the architecture of 8085 is there whatever register they are they required is there then after that uh, how many registers they have required what is the flag register is there so different things we have to learn from this architecture of 8085 there after that when you complete this architecture of 8051 8085 then you are discussing the different addressing modes of this 805 then after addressing mode we are discussing the pin diagram of the 805 then 805 pin diagram we have to discuss the uh, after this pin diagram we have discussed the different uh, instructions of 805 then after instructions we are discussing the small programs there are simple programs are there addition of two numbers subtraction of two numbers are there so this is the simple programs of the 8085 is there okay so this is the architecture and first part of the 805 but you must know that you must know that what is the meaning of the number system is that then we are discussing the uh, 
generation of the control signals, which type of database we have to require in 8085 and how data will be transferred from one uh, from the register series there, where the addition is done in arithmetic logic unit, there is done the addition is there, then the substructure is there, and we where we have to store the data, what is the program counter is there, what is the stack counter is there. We have discussed all the points in Edge. If you learn first unit properly, if you understand first unit properly, then after that, remaining part is very easy because all the basic things are done in 8085 there if you understand what is the addressing it if you understand what is the instructions are there if you understand what is the registers are every same copy is there 8085 only simple difference is there simple difference is there because we have the controller is there so interfacing will be less in 8085 in 8085 there is no interfacing is there we are uh, in interfacing because all the points are connected all the peripherals are connected to the 805 for the output is there so if you understand 805 properly and correctly then there is remaining part of this subject is very easy because all the assembly language you have to write in uh, 805 same assembly language you have to write in 805 only difference is that there is a difference is only for the difference is only a instruction difference is there the difference is only a instructions is there if you understand the instructions is there and uh, 805 we have to change only the name of the instructions there same program you have to done in the 805 is there so this is the first first part of your uh, sub uh, in first part of your syllabus is the 8085 this is the first chapter and first unit of your syllabus is the 8085 there then second part of your 8085 is the then 8051 this is the control same same we have discussed in your 8085 same you have to discuss in 8051 is there 8051 what is the architecture of the microcontroller then we have discussed the uh, what is the pin diagram of the 8051 then we have discussed the uh, different instruction set we have to use the 8051 then we have discussed the assembly language this is the third unit of this assembly language of this 8051 assembly language means what what is the assembly language is what what is the output we have to uh, give me simple program is there addition of the two number substitution of two number these are the so forty minutes are there. Oh. Hello. Yes. So in ten minutes we have to remove from this. This is the assembly language we are discussing the different types of assembly language same in the 8085 and is the 8085 is there this is the assembly language. next is the part is the hardware of the 805 what is the hardware of the 8051 is there this is the unit number 4 is there hardware hardware is there in that hardware we are discussing the discussing the interrupt structure so this is the main uh, different parts in this one is the interrupt is there what is meant by the interrupt timer counter and their program is there so this is the next part of this is the interrupt is there in your hardware is there what is meant by the counter is there what is meant by the interrupts are there then how to write the program interrupt structure is there different type of ports we have to connect four ports are there four ports are there for that purpose you are connecting the hardware over in the edge of this is the unit number four is there so this is the unit number four hardware is there this unit number four is there then next unit number five is we are discussing the interfacing of 805 this is the interface interfacing means what we have to connect the lcd to the 805 we have to connect the adc to the 805 we have to connect the dac to the 805 then we have to connect the uh, external rom then external data memory we have to connect it to the 80 this is the interfacing part of this 805 is the next part is there then 
Next is the electrical applications where we have to use the 805 in your electrical application. Is there basic application? Means if you know that we have to use the 805 is the DC motor. In your DC motor, hello, how was it? Hello, there is some sound in back side. Please mute your mic. Hello, some sound is there. Hello. 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 Hello, some sound is there. So if you have any doubt, please ask me up to this because after 40 minutes to five minutes are remaining. What are the doubts up there? Hello, please unmute your mic. Please unmute your mic. And if you have any doubts. Hello. Yes, sir. Huh, if you have any doubts regarding this up to this session is there because this is the first session. I'm not going to deep is there. If you match with each other, then you can understand my. So please, if you have any doubts. No, sir. So. Hello. Randev Rushala, Ishwarya, Chandana, Snehal. If you have any doubts. Everybody is present in the class. Yes, sir. No okay, doubt. Okay. 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 So if you uh, understand means if you uh, clearly a voice is there with voice is clear now because first lecture is yes, there. Sir. Huh? You can understand my pronunciation is there. Everybody understand my pronunciation. If you have any doubts, please write down your chat box or you can write on or tell me by using unmute is there. Okay, so we will start. If you have any doubts or if you are not understand anything, then tell me. So this is the first part of your syllabus is there. This is the sixth unit we are discussing in your syllabus is there. This is the sixth unit we are discussing. It's very easy uh, topic is there. This is your easy topic is there. It's fun. very interesting part is there. Interesting when write down the languages there. Because every students of third year know that the languages, basic languages of the C programming and all these things. So if you can understand very easy, only difference is that you have to learn the instructions, how to write the instructions is there and how ASIM languages work. This is the basic part of this 805 is there. If you give the instructions to the 805, 805 how it reacts. If you understand this, your program programming skill will be increased. If you give the input to the 805, you must know that how he give the output to you. And you know that how give output then your increase the programming skill of that. So you must know the how the instructions will work. That instructions is working is there. So you you can understand very easily. It's very easy, very easy topic. Every subject is there. Only difference is that only tough part is that you have to learn the language that assembly language because we require the number of instructions to write the program is more because we have required more instructions is required to write the program is there. So you can understand the instruction is. So which textbooks we have to use for that? So these are the textbooks are there. These are the books and textbooks are there. So this is the textbooks for your 805. If you buy any book is there, you can find you use from libraries there. So this is very, very good book is the must is there. This is the 805 and microcontroller embedded system is there. So this is the book is very means all the basic students. If you know, uh, don't understand what is the processor, what is the microcontroller for that tour, This is a very, very important uh, easy book is there written by the Muhammad El -Wazi. If you want to buy this book, you can buy this book also, or you can take from the libraries there. And another book is there, Ramesh Gaikwa. Ramesh, now this is the 8085. For that purpose, if you use these two books, you can understand whole the subjects. Means all the 100% syllabus is present in 8051 of 8051 in Mazdi and 8085 from the micro. You can take these two books from the library also. You can buy this book. It's very easy. It's all the topics we have to learn are all the six topics which are uh, discussed previously. All the present in these two books are there. All the topics are present in these two books. Are there. You can, for that purpose, you can use. Uh, this also, this is the 
advanced microprocessor peripherals in that book we have to use the connected to the architecture means interfacing topics are there this is also good book is bharuchi km and rise there but my suggestion is we have to use these two books my suggestion is you have to use these two books are textbooks are for the uh, reference books every book can be sir good this is for your microcontroller for this this is for your microprocessor interfacing that if you have time then you can use this manual is there in your online manual or any there you can see this 8051 manual is very important is 8051 manual is there why because you can understand what is the requirement is required for this 8051 means plus 5 volt is required then what is the voltage required what is the frequency of this 8051 is there so you can discuss this then you can use this is the data sheet you know that data sheet data sheet means what you are learn the dt top dt in your uh, digital techniques are there in that we have to discuss the different ics are there the different ics having the different data sheets there so these are data sheets there so this is you can see this data sheet is there but if you use these two books 100% syllabus is present in these two books 100% syllabus is present in this two book 100% syllabus is present in these two books are there so you can 8051 for the majdi and this gaukar for the 8081 in gaukar is firstly you have to read this book gaukar when you start this syllabus or you start the study of this subject is there first you have to take this book not for majdi first you have to take the gaukar is there. in that gaukar first chapter of first we give the basics of all these things numbering system and what is the processor is there so this is where processor is there how it works what is the adc so first you have to start this subject first you have to take this gaukar book is there and read these two books and then after that you are go to the majdi is there so you can this 100 percent syllabus is present in these two books because in uh, majdi you have discuss the last topic of this six unit is the interfacing of the dc motor means applications of the Uh, electrical is the dc motor you have to connect the dc motor to the 8051 and you have to rotate the dc motor by giving the programming to the 8051 is there so this dc motor interfacing is there this is given much this very good there the uh, programming is there in 805 8051 this is the application of the uh, dc motor is there another application of this in your uh, control system stepper motor you know stepper motor then temperature indicator then we have to use the power factor and then relay these are the basic parts i mean these are the topics of your uh, unit number 6 is there this unit number electrical application where in electrical application in electrical application we have to discuss the in electrical application we have to discuss the relay then dc motor then stepper motor we have to use uh, elect, these are the electrical applications are there how we have to connect these peripherals to your 8051 and how it works so it is given by the in your 8051 is there so this is the last part of, which is the applications of the 8051 so all these points are present in your which book i am telling this is the book is the majdi is there all the topics we have to present in that majdi book are there so it's very very two books you complete the whole syllabus are there. two books you have to complete the whole syllabus is there so you have to bring this book and we will start then next you have to start the unit number first is in next lecture we have to discuss first unit so understand first what is the subject is there your subject is microprocessor and we will brief idea brief uh, explanation in 2 3 minutes this is the first is the what is the topic is there microprocessor and microcontroller is your subject is there in that we are discussing the microprocessor and microcontroller subject is having the practical oral examination also your subject is having the practical oral examination also then your subject is having the uh, uh, practical then 175 is the weightage of that subject then by using that subject you can understand the architecture you must know that what is the architecture then how to write the assembly language then how to interface the sir different peripherals the 8051 you must know all these things this is the main objective of this subject is there so what is the subject objective and just reading this just i am telling this really we are introduce the introduction of microprocessor and microcontroller and their instruction set and it gives it gives the detail idea it gives the detail idea of the it gives detail idea of the interfacing of microcontroller on various external peripherals means i am discussing all these things we have to know the introduction part of this microprocessor microcontroller and we have to connect the different interfacing to them and then 
write down the assembly's basic assembly language program by using this not tough assembly language program sir only basic assembly language program is there only tough programming is there when you run in dc motor if you connect the lcd player to that then if you relays there if you on off the relays there so these are the uh, these are the programs required a, a number of pieces, but it's very easy in your microcontroller because all these parts in dc motor it is connected to the microcontroller not to the micro processor is there okay so this is the main next is we have discussed the books is there and this is the syllabus topic of this 8051 and 8085 is there okay so if you have any difficulty or if you have any points which required to teach is there just i want to take the present tea after to that just ask the questions i'm writing the roll numbers please ask the questions if you have any questions we have regarding this if you know anybody know the processor or controller is there please unmute this and if you ask this i'm taking the numbers are there if you have any hello if you have any doubts regarding this Hello, anybody have any difficulty regarding this or oh, anybody know the, uh, if you know anybody, what is the processor controller, any idea, any training regarding this, have you done any training regarding this processor or controller is there or in, on in PLC also. Anybody is doing training on this processor or if you know that. If you are from because you are third year students, you are from diploma side also, direct second year student also. So they know that because they learn in your if they are from electrical also or they're from ENTC also, they know that the controller is there. Hello, anybody know the controller is there? Which top which part is tough is there in controller when you are learning in diploma side? Hello. 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 Rushikesh seventy. Okay, so in your next lecture is there, we will start the first topic of this, which is the micro 8085 processor and what is the processor is working is there, how it work is there, what is the architecture of the processor is there, what type of different, what type of different registers we have to use, we are discussing next lecture is there. So everybody is physically present in class. Everybody understand. 
Yes, sir. Okay. So those are from the direct second year students. I think they are doing the project. Uh, they are doing the project on microcontroller also. I think so. Because those are from the direct second year students, maybe in electrical or maybe in ENTC is there. They are connected in the electrical side is there. So I think they are doing the project on microcontroller 805 or maybe a Arduino is there. So anybody is doing the project on Arduino is there or 8051 is there. So you can understand the interfacing of this 805 and how it works is there. I think TY students are a lot of students from the direct second year also. Anybody is doing the project on 8051? No, sir. No, sir. No, no doing. You are from direct second year or uh, from 12th? Rishikesh? Okay. If it, anybody is doing the project on 8051 is there. So from direct, because a lot of diploma students are doing working on the 8051 is there. Or maybe have some students are working in the Arduino is there because Arduino is very easy to do the interfacing is there. What is the difference is that when you learn that advanced processes are there, maybe an Arduino is there and 8085 is there. In 8085, we require the lot of means required more number of wires you have to connect the peripherals to them when you learn the advanced processors just like our arduino is there so we require the less number of interfacing lines we have to connect them less number of uh, wiring is there so 805 is also called as a peripheral devices there so less number of uh, wiring is connected to them so you will get the uh, means uh, connection connections connection is required less is there because in Previous processor we required the more number of connections. We have to connect the interfacing is there. So this is the uh, different work, different between the advanced processor and the previous processor. So 8085 is required a more number of wires. You have to connect the peripherals to them. But in Arduino is there as compared to the 805 controller, Arduino is required a less number of a wire to connect the peripherals. Means we have to connect the suppose you have to some simple projects if you know from diploma side, the, the from direct second year so simple programs projects are there uh, if you are in mini projects are there you have to use the temperature controller is there temperature control is one of the project is there we have to measure the temperature controller is there we suppose room temperature we have i want to measure is there and i want to display this room temperature on your display board is there if i am coming inside the room or my cabin and if i see the what is the temperature of that room is there so this temperature i have to see on your display is there so for that purpose we have to use the controller is there Maybe you can use the Arduino is there. You can use the 805 is there. By using 805 also, you can uh, do this project is there. But if you use the different three, suppose I'm some students I'm giving the 805, some students I'm giving by using the 805 and some giving the Arduino is there. So less time is required to done the project is for the Arduino is there. More time is required for the 805 and then more time is required for the 805 is there. Because required a lot of wiring is there and then uh, number of instructions we have to write in 805. Suppose in Arduino we required three instructions to do this project. But in 805 we require the five instructions to do this program and 805 require the 10 instructions to do this program. Because in previous processor or previous controllers required a more number of instructions to write the program and also required a more uh, required interfacing connections, clumsy interfacing connection is required to connect this display because for temperature control, what we required, we required one sensor is there. What is the sensor is there? We required a sensor is suppose temperature sensor is there. Okay. So in temperature sensor is required and this temperature sensor and then another hardware is required is, is the LCD display. We require the LCD display is there. So two hardware is we have to connect to the, your controller or processor is there. So maybe processor, maybe a controller, you can use different, but we require these two hardware to connect them. And then you have to write the program is there. First, if you write anything required to the, suppose that, suppose if you want to connect the printer to your PC is there, what will happen? Printer is connected to the PC is there. First, you have to uh, setup is installed means uh, in uh, operating system is like windows and all these things uh, direct we have to connect the uh, uh, pcs uh, pcs there only setup is present in that operating system is there setup will be run but in previous time we required a cd to run the setup is there so we have to connect anything we require a lot of instructions to how to connect means uh, 
temporary sensor is connected to the adjustor fan you have to give the some is first instructions so how this connect to the adjustor uh, adjustor 51 or adjustor 85 or maybe uh, we are discussing adjustor fan adjustor fan not arduino is there so adjustor 51 and adjustor fan first you have to give the instructions to connect them then after that you have to give the input to at uh, suppose temperature temporary sensor is given in the maybe a uh, in which in 8051 and 8085 the temperatures come into the which form you have to come in the form of the binary is there and by this binary you have to convert into the decimal form so for that but i am always asking you the first question in this you must know the conversion part is there you must know the conversion part is there because you must know the conversion part is there the conversion part why we require the conversion part is there because conversion part is very important you must know that how to convert the decimal into the binary and binary into the decimal is there because in point of your programming is there because if you are writing temperature sensor is there temperature sensor in the form of the binary which is understand by 8051 and 80 8085 is there but you have to convert this binary form into the which form you have to convert into the uh, decimal form because common people don't understand the binary system common people don't understand the binary system common people understand the decimal point is there. so you have to convert this binary into the decimal so you have to write down the program in your programming maybe 805 and maybe 805 first you have to fetch data in the form of the decimal then you have to convert the decimal form into the binary then again you have to process the data on that and then you have to binary is converted into the decimal is there and then you will get the output is there so this is very important point so for that purpose you will learn the adjustor for you must know the conversion system is there because common people don't understand the binary common people don't understand the binary they know that the they know that the decimal systems are there so in that decimal so you have to know the conversion if anybody don't know the conversion please take me on on chat or my mobile number is there you can tell me the what is the exact Uh, if you know the uh, numbering system is there, I will take one lecture on numbering system also because you must know the numbering system is there. If you don't understand numbering system, you don't know the what is it conversion system is there. Then tell me, I will take the lecture is there. Then again, uh, this is the part. Then we will discuss in next lecture. We will discuss the first part of this first topic is there architecture of the Intel 8051 is there, 8085 is there. Okay. Okay. So. i think 5 minutes are remaining if you have any difficulty any questions or you want uh, how to, uh, anything want you new know uh, know about or you have to give the suggestions regarding this topic is there please tell me five minutes are then will any anything we required are you if any difficulty not difficulty because we are not starting the subject is there after starting subject you can ask the questions is there but uh, you will uh, you required a lecture on numbering system is there everybody know that this is a simple part is there numbering system is there or you know that the gates are there you know that logic gates everybody understand the basic electronics in basic level we are know the gates are there gates means logic gates are there because in your arithmetic logic in your unit zero eight five and eight zero five one there is a logics are there means if you give the input to zero zero to the and gate the output is zero and if you give the input to the zero one to the and gate then output is zero as also if you are giving the one one to the and gate then you will get output is the one these are the logical operations are there all the logical operations are done in your eight zero eight five is there this is the a user so you must know the logical gates also. means which gates are basic gates are and gate or gate not gate these are the basic gates then nand and nor gate are the your universal gates are there how it works you know you must know that if you don't know please tell me then i will take the lectures on that the numbering system is the only we know that how many numbering system there first decimal numbering system is there 0 to 9 is there then we are discussing the binary every time i am discussing the binary system is there 0 and 1 are the binary system is there after binary system we are discussing the octal system is there octal means are 0 to 8 is there then another is the hexadecimal system what is the hexadecimal system is there 0 to 9 and 10 to 15 is there the hexadecimal systems are there so you must know that all the four systems five systems are there and we are discussing 8085 and uh, 8085 only we are discussing the binary systems are there because our controller our processor our controller person only know that the binary system you don't know anything about the apart from this binary is there okay so if you have any doubts please tell me nahi tar me mai apna tha thambyat 
जर असेल काय डाऊट तर सांगा काय समजत नसेल इफ यू डोंट ऑडिबल मी प्रोनाउन्स येत नसेल किंवा काय समजत नसेल आय एम आय एम आस्किंग इन मराठी लास्ट बिकॉज जर काय कळत नसेल समजत नसेल तर प्लीज टेल मी तुम्हाला जर इथं काय म्हणायचं नसेल यू कॅन टेल मी ऑन युअर माय मोबाईल नंबर पण आहे किंवा चार्टमध्ये जर तुम्ही लिहिलं किंवा इफ डोंट अंडरस्टँड प्रोनाउन्स इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टँड फास्ट होते काय होते आफ्टर स्टार्ट इन द फर्स्ट लेक्चर विल स्टार्ट इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर नेक्स्ट सेशन वी स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट युनिट इज देअर यू कॅन फ्रँकली टेल मी ऑन युअर चॅटबॉक ऑल्सो युअर माय पर्सनल मोबाईल नंबर इज ऑल्सो इफ युअर डाऊट इज देअर प्लीज टेल मी बिकॉज इट्स व्हेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट इज देअर मायक्रो कंट्रोल अँड मायक्रो प्रोसेस इज व्हेरी इझी व्हेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक इज देअर इफ यू स्टार्ट द टॉपिक इज देअर इट्स व्हेरी इझी very easy and interesting is there if you understand one by one part is there but you must present on all lectures you must present in all lectures are there because very very important is there if you miss one lecture is there if you miss the instruction set is there then what is use of that you can don't understand the program is there if you miss the architecture of 8051 then you cannot don't understand which type of registers are presented at 8051 if you don't know the register presented then what is you can understand the instructions there then don't understand then an assembly is there so you must present in first all lectures you must present in all lectures then you can understand all the things if you miss one or two lectures then you may be a, you don't understand because every part is depending upon the previous part is there every part is depending upon the previous part is there so please present all the lectures and if you have any doubts tell me because if you start the lecture it's very interesting part, part is there very interesting subject is there because what is very basic and lots of things lots of problems you can lots of projects you can done by using 8085 also 8051 also okay so if you have any doubts any queries please tell me uh, if you don't have uh, don't have any query can i stop can i stop the zoom meeting if you don't have any query if you have any doubt yes sir okay can i stop then yes sir okay so please tell me if you have any doubts we'll start when uh, next lecture is there next lecture is uh, uh, in next lecture we start the first units then if you have any doubts write down in chat box also or you can write down uh, okay so remove i'm i'm going to stop this meeting okay good afternoon have a good day okay stop karte